you know, I think Halmer is a, a business that's got a, a very diverse range of, of end markets that we serve. Each one is either in a safety, healthcare, or environmental uh, field. And what we're seeing, and we've certainly seen in the last 18 months, in fact, as you say, is a real uh, divergence, if you like, in dynamics in those individual markets. So, for example, a year ago in our medical sector, any of our businesses that were manufacturing anything to do with the treatment of COVID, obviously we're seeing extremely high rates of demand and, and they've normalized it this past half year. And then what we've seen in the last half year are some of those, those uh, companies exposed to elective surgical procedures, for example, like cataract surgery, are seeing very strong uh, recovery in demand. So yeah, it really is a, a very sort of different picture depending on which market you're in, both geographically and, and in terms of application. I know you pride yourself on your sustainability, on I think it was named the most admired company in the UK in 2020. So there's a lot of things we can talk about there. But in terms of pure opportunity here, Andrew, there'll be a lot of companies who are floundering, given what we're seeing at the moment, for a host of reasons. Do you see very big growth opportunities that are one off at the moment? Not so, it's interesting. We talk about a sustainable growth model, which is something I think we've We've been evolving and aligning really for 50 years since the group's been in existence. I mean, even back 50 years ago, we identified safety and environmental control as, as real environmental monitoring, really important growth opportunities for us. And so what we've seen over since the last decade is, is as climate change has become, uh, the awareness of that has become more prevalent and, and companies as well as governments have wanted to do more about that. We've seen a lot more interest in a number of our technologies. So for example, we're amongst the global leaders in, in areas such as water leak detection, uh, water quality testing, UV treatment to treat water, um, gas monitoring, air pollution monitoring. And so, yeah, over recent years, we've seen that increase. And, and certainly, although we're still to see the detail of what came out of the recent uh, COP26 conference, there's no doubt that that's going to be good for our business over the next five, 10 years, as not only do we work hard to, to, to improve our own impact operationally, but also we help our customers get solutions to some of the problems they're dealing with.